Hi, this is the Market Recap for Monday, April the 14th. My name is Barry Anderson. I'm the moderator of the Trade Ideas Trading Room. This is the address to get into the room, and you can log in as a guest or use your Facebook or your Twitter account to log in. Let's get right to the charts, and uh, just want to show you the SPY first of all. Uh, let me exit out of this. Um, this, excuse me, sorry for that. The purple line right here is where the SPY closed on Friday. So obviously you can see that we had a really nice uh, start to the day. A bit of a pullback, a little pull up, a little, another little pullback, and then this was a really nice uh, drive from about 8, sorry, from 10.30 to uh, 11 o'clock. And it looked like we were just going to sort of hang in this area all day. But then at around 12.40, we started this decline. And in fact, we got to a point where we're actually below the close of yesterday. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of people probably thought, oh, no, uh, you know, we had just a quite a spectacular start to the day and uh, we're going to give it all up but at the very end of the day in the last 45 minutes we had a nice rally so uh, we ended up positive for the day and hopefully we can build on that for tomorrow now i'm going to go over four of the trades that i, I did today i posted in the room today uh, first trade is h m s y and this came from a bounce alert. Uh, again, I was alerted to the fact that this stock was uh, dropping fairly rapidly. These are two-minute candles. And so I was looking for actually a bounce play for uh, this particular uh, stock. And I watched it jog around this, this area for a little bit. And when it didn't bounce, I uh, basically flipped it and turned it into uh, what I guess I'm going to call a failed bounce play. So on this, on this red candle right here, I shorted the stock at 1571. I took half out at 1548 and I took the other half out at 1521. Now I actually said in the room, uh, probably about right here, uh, boy, I said, looks like we should be, uh, you know, taking this uh, on the long side now uh, as a bounce. And I didn't do it. Uh, probably, uh, you know, a, a really good entry would have been right here, about 1534 above the top of this uh, red candle. And it's something that I constantly work on just because, you know, I, I traded this this here uh, as a short. Uh, always should be watching to see if we're going to get a bounce on something like this. But, you know, I didn't take that trade today and uh, I should have. But at any rate, uh, made it made some good good money on the short. The second trade I took was EPAM. I'm sorry, it was a TE actually. Tico Energy. And now this came from my... Um, from my custom setup alert and the first alert came at 1136 and the price was 1774 so it was right right here when it popped above uh, uh, this area right there and I didn't take the trade I watched because I, I just waited for for a bit I wanted to see if that second uh, candle would uh, would get above uh, that my trigger candle and it didn't uh, a red candle was formed, so I waited, and the second time it went through it, I took the trade right here on this green candle at 17.74. Now this trade really did nothing. Uh, you know, it got a, as high as 17.86. Uh, we noticed that there was some resistance. Uh, if I take up the the, day, the weekly chart for uh, for Tico, you see there's some resistance up in this area right here on the weekly chart. So. Probably wasn't expecting too much, but, you know, I hoped, well, if it did get through 1789, who knows? And the market was strong, so we thought may maybe uh, it, was, it was worth a shot. But basically, it really did nothing, and uh, I ended up selling it at break even at 1774. The third trade was EPAM. And again, another bounce alert. I was alerted to this uh, in my bounce window. So I was following it right down to this level right here. I watched it kind of jog around this area. Uh, if you follow me at all, you know that I really like to take the stocks through the whole number, let them get through the whole number. And that's what I did on this green candle right here. I took the trade at 32.09 and had, to, had a couple of nice spikes up here, which uh, you know obviously I was hoping would just continue. They didn't. They were they were sold off. And I actually said in the room that if it didn't uh, move fairly quickly, I was going to get out of the trade. Uh, again, if I get into a trade and it doesn't 
you know, it doesn't move. I mean, I was in at 3209. And so all in this area, I was really, I wasn't really in the money. And I don't mind holding a trade uh, for a long time if I'm in the money. But if I, but if it's not, if it's not doing anything, and I'm, I'm in a bit of a loss position, I usually exit the trade because, uh, you know, as I always say, uh, whatever I saw here, nobody else is seeing right now, anyway. And so I actually exited the trade right here at uh, 32.03 for a, for a little loss. Uh, it went down again through through. I certainly would have got out at uh, when it broke the whole number. And then, yes, later, unfortunately, it, uh, it uh, took off the way I was hoping it would have taken off in this area. It would have been a really nice ride if it got up to the 3260 uh, level when I had it in this area. But uh, it didn't, and so just have to move on, take the next trade. And that's what I did. The last trade I took was BMY, and that came from this alert right here. Uh, again, from my custom setups. And it was at 231 at the price was 47.86. And this is a short setup. And so I waited just a bit, to, got this red candle that went down through uh, 47.80. And I actually took the trade at 47.80. This was a short again. And I took off the first half at 47.58 and the second half at 47.47, which is quite good because it was, uh, you know, the low was 47.42. So obviously it was very good, timed it very well. Now I'd said in the room that this was basically a market trade because I was going to, I was going to, if you look at the SPY, this is the this blue line here is the SPY and you can see how it's going down. And basically, you know, it's it's in this area here, this area right here. And I said I was going to ride Bristol Myers down uh, with the spy as as it was dropping. And that's it. that's basically what I did. And you can see that once the spy stopped and turned around, Bristol Myers did basically the same thing. So this is certainly one of those stocks that follows the market. And I thought it was a pretty good risk reward because as the market was falling, I thought, okay, if I if, you know, I'll, I can put my stop right. You know, right, right about here. So, if, you know, about a 10 cent stop. Uh, probably, yeah, I was, I would have, if if I had got, I was in at 47.80, I probably would have got out right here about 47.91. So about a 10 cent stop. So good risk reward uh, for actually both uh, legs of of, of this uh, trade. So those are the four that I posted in the room today. And let me just bring up the cover sheet again, show you how to get into the room for tomorrow. Hope to see you in the room tomorrow. And good trading on Tuesday.